uh, my voice starts to like go really really high that's when I get really excited and people are like stop being annoying oh you stop watching if you think I'm annoying hi everyone welcome back to my channel <laughs> I'm sounding so much like a Disney character hi guys welcome back to oh my god my voice just gets higher and higher <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. This is Karina. I feel really preppy today because we're gonna be doing a Abercrombie and Fitch try on haul. For those of you who haven't heard of the brand, they were huge back when I was in high school, which is the 2000s. I swear to God, like every cool girl and cool guy in my school were wearing ANF. It was kind of like a status symbol for like coolness, you know? I kind of forgot about this brand until recently because I saw this Netflix documentary. They were basically talking about how Abercrombie and Fitch were like mistreating their workers, basically being really biased towards the way a person looked, and then it was boycotted by like everyone. Fast forward X years later, here we are today. I've been hearing amazing, amazing things about their denim collection and their new CEO actually said that they vowed to make a change and that the brand has entirely changed everything about the brand and the way it's treating its workers. So I thought I would give this brand another chance. So I ended up spending over a thousand dollars and I feel obligated to review each piece very very thoroughly because I feel like they are not cheap by any means and I would hate for them to be like Shein quality with like high jacked up prices. So yeah, make sure you watch till the end of this haul because I'm gonna try each of these on and I will not pull back. <laughs> Long ass intro. Okay, so let's do- ah! So we're going to be starting with this pair of jeans. This is their Abercrombie & Fitch, the 90s straight ultra high rise. And it looks like this. What really got me was the fact that the front here had like a crisscross design. And I picked it up in my size, which was 24 regular length. Oh, by the way, for all their denims, I think they have it in short, regular, and long length. So you can like pick and choose based on your height and your leg length. So I just pick a regular on 5'7 for reference. If you want all of my measurements, they will be down in the description box down below, along with all the links to these items. When I got it in the mail, I just like ripped the whole thing apart like a cave woman. And I love, love the quality of this. It is a little bit on the rigid side, but I love the straight legness. I think it's very trendy and also yet very classic. Of course, I had to pick one of their rib knit top for the summer months coming up. So this one reminded me of the Babaton Aritzia kind of like rib knit material that is like absolutely not see-through. I got the white one. Let me bring it. So dedicated. I had to like run all the way to my closet and sift through like thousands of tops to find this one for you guys and now I'm all like out of breath. So this is the Babaton one that has super super thick fabric. It doesn't even matter if you're wearing like a neon green bra under, it will not show through this. So I kind of wanted to see if the ANF version will be the same. Oh, you guys are making me go into my back and forth into my closet. Okay, okay, I'm back. You guys like these are pumping bras. <laughs> Is it see-through? I think it's pretty non-see-through. I mean, the fabric feels really comfortable. Definitely comfier than the Aritzia one. Hmm, straps are very stretchy. I think the overall cut is pretty flattering too. Okay, on to these jeans. I have yet to find a pair of jeans that is so cute. Okay, it has this special design around the front area here and it's actually a good fit for my waist, my bum bum, and the length of my legs. So right here, I'm wearing runners with this. You can see that it's totally straight cut all the way down to your ankles. And I feel like you can dress it up or down. So you can just change it to a pair of heels. And ta-da, you just instantly transform more into like a dressier, kind of like girls night out type of look. I think it looks better with these heels. What do you guys think? It's very, very fitting for those of you who may be on the smaller bum bum side. Highly, highly recommend. Let's do a squat. Not bad, I can actually go all the way down. How do you suggest? Okay, this is like 20 out of 10. Okay, now we have this gorgeous pink midi dress that has a tie shoulder strap detail, some buttons at the front here, and a slit up the side of your thigh, which I think is super sweet, super feminine. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, you know that this is the exact dress that I wore for my Mother's Day photo shoot with my two little ones. I got this in a size extra extra small and it doesn't have any zippers which makes it really really difficult 
to put on but it does have this back like rouge detail so I guess it does provide a little bit of flexibility and stretch it. Oh and the buttons here are not actually buttonable they're just fake. Good part is the entire thing is lined from head to toe and it's connected by a thread too. With that said I really love to take this opportunity to introduce you guys to Skillshare who is the sponsor for today's video. So Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes that you can take that covers such a wide range of topics. Back when I first discovered it, I was trying to grow my Instagram and so I took a couple classes on portrait and DSLR photography and you guys, my Instagram feed went from this to this. So lately I've been trying to up my YouTube game and I've been taking a class on Skillshare called YouTube Success Script, Shoot and Edit with Mark Brownlee. The class is engaging he actually gives bite-sized tips that I can apply to my videos. If you've always wanted to learn a new skill but you have no idea where to start, Skillshare is the perfect way. Whether your goal is to learn, you know, web development or just to start a new TikTok, Skillshare has it all. Just browse through the list of classes that they offer and you'll see what I mean. Like they literally have everything for everyone. While you guys are doing that, just know that the first 1,000 people to sign up for Skillshare using my code right here or the link in the description box down below, you guys are gonna get one month of free trial of everything that Skillshare has to offer so you can start exploring your creativity today. Okay, even though getting into this dress is quite a struggle because it doesn't have any zippers, it's one of those dresses that actually fit my petite frame, especially like waist up, like torso wise. I think the shoulder straps are really dainty, you know, it really gives like a really feminine vibe to the dress. And I honestly think this dress is the perfect wedding guest dress. Also I think it's a great bridesmaid's dress. And because it is double lined, you don't see anything. I have to say that if size doesn't really matter to you, then you can definitely find something like this quality in like other stores, maybe like Zara or even H&M. For you petite frame girls, you will definitely get your money's worth by getting it from ANF. Next up, I got this really, really gorgeous white crop top that is a linen piece. And I think it's gonna match really, really beautifully with this white and blue midi skirt. And it would be perfect for like wedding season. It does feel a little bit more expensive for this type of material. There is a ruche at the back, which gives you that kind of like flexibility and elasticity. The front here kind of has like a lace up corset kind of detail, even though the entire thing is very soft to the touch. Not sure if it's gonna be see-through or not, but it is double lined. So got this skirt in an extra, extra small. The skirt is $60. It is double lined, even though it does have a very, very high skirt. Slit. The slit is not like a true slit, like you actually have like an overlapping fabric on the inside. Okay, so at first glance, everything fits me really, really well. Because it is one size larger than what I would normally get, I can see the gaping here. Can you guys see it? Like it's just loose around my boobage area right here. Ooh. I think if I got it in a size that actually fits, then this would not have happened. Keep in mind that because it's a linen material, it has like literally no stretch at the front here. The only flexibility you get is at the back where there's like kind of a rouge detail here. The skirt though, I really, really like. It makes me feel like I'm in a tropical vacation. Doesn't it just remind you of like a vase? Either way, I think this skirt is very, very flattering. Ooh, you see you have that thing going on right here. And I think the slit is definitely a classier version than a slit that's just like cropped and just like cut bluntly all the way up here because you do have this like overlapping piece going. Not see-through at all, but then also again, no flexibility, like zero. Really, really, really check the sizing chart before you decide on the size. I will say that their sizing chart is very true to size. What do you guys think? I need you to rate this outfit on like a one to 10. Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so I wanted to try out their white skirts because I feel like a really good way to test the quality of a store's pieces is to check whether their pleated skirts has one, shorts built in, and two, the quality of it, the flare of it, like how it feels when it's moving around. This feels like yoga shorts that's built into here, kind of similar to this Nike skirt right here. It's also $50, which I guess is not too bad for a pleated skirt, you know, like but the quality is really, really good. If I can feel really safe wearing it, definitely goes on my perf proof list. I think it's gonna pair really beautifully with this marled pink top, which is a halter top. And of styles, they're more towards like cleaner cuts, very basic, or I guess like what they would call like an all American look, whatever that means. I do feel very, I don't know how to put it, like 
tennis season or like golf season even though I have never ever touched golf in my entire life I feel like I would be well dressed if I were to step foot on a golf course no? okay tennis I do have and I do play <laughs> Play. This is a tennis skirt and I know that because the skirt has a pocket here You know whether you want to put your like tiny as I don't know like Nokia phone because I think it would only fit a Nokia phone or Put a tennis ball in here take you forever to put one in I don't know how realistic it is in the middle of the match It's just gonna look really weird, you know, obviously when you have like a ball here and a ball here Balls aside, I'm not feeling the skirt I know it has like built-in shorts and everything I feel like this area here it's extremely tight, okay? I got it in my size, which was suggested by the website Extra Extra Small and it was such a struggle to get on, especially past my hips. I think I would have done better if I sized up to an extra small maybe. I'm not gonna suggest it to you guys because I do think that there are tennis skirts with built-in shorts that are very easy to move in, equally, you know, as leisure and equally perf-proof and comfortable while not having the price tag of ANS. Oh! The top though, I love the top! I am so into halter tops, even though I feel like they make my shoulder look really wide, which in turn make my head look really big. Also, one of my best friends in high school, one day she took a look at me and she said, Karina, your head is the same width as your waist. And honestly, I didn't know whether I needed to be like offended or like flattered. Love this top. I think everyone should have something like this in their closet. I think it's such a summer staple. You know when my voice starts to like go really really high, that's when I get really excited and people are like, stop being annoying. Oh, you stop watching. It holds everything in place without being constricted. Okay, I'm just seeing this now, but this is a flared kind of yoga pants and oh my god, look at this you guys. This looks like it's made for my five-year-old. It reminds me of a more structured version of the Lululemon Aligns but in the flared version. So if this really works out, I'll be so excited. <laughs> I can't believe it actually went past my hips. Like I am so shocked right now. Um, it's actually quite tight. I'm not gonna lie, around the waist. But the rest of my legs doesn't feel like it's being constricted. I guess in a way it's good because if you really want everything to like hold in your midriff area, this is the leggings for you. I will say though that I feel a lot more compression around the waistband right here than I do anywhere else. And the flare is like a very, very trendy wide leg flare. It does have a slit on the side here. You guys can see the length, right? Like it goes all the way past down my runner heels, which I think is actually a pretty good length for me. Oh my god, I feel so 90s. Ow, my butt. And you know, unlike some of you, I was actually there, okay? Like I lived through the whole Y2K-ness, so I feel like this is just like going back to that. Which is why I have extra fun doing this haul. <laughs> So another pair of jeans from their denim collection. This one is also one of their really, really popular designs. I got in the same size as the first blue jeans. I think I'll be pairing the white jeans with this very basic cami. So this cami I got because I also wanted to test out, you know, one of their less structured top and see whether it's see-through or not. Because I always have trouble finding a good white basic cami in the summertime, you know, and not having to worry about like what bra to wear under. I think I'll test this with my neon blue bra also okay so these jeans i got it in the exact same size and length as the blue one right and this one is very very loose on me around the waist not the same fit at all it's also a tad bit longer than the blue one even though they're the same regular length this is why you have to watch try on hauls if i'm wearing runners like this it's gonna look really kind of like wrinkly down here and i don't like that look so i'm gonna switch over to a pair of heels and you guys will instantly see the difference Ta -da! over here i'm wearing a pair of heels and you'll see that the ends of this pair of jeans go beyond my heels and it looks so much more like straighter cut than this one which have like a slightly wrinkled bottom portion going on I think it all comes down to personal preference but for me, if I were to wear this one I would maybe go down a size and just keep you know, something a little bit heel, maybe like a platform sandal, for example. The sizing issues aside, I do have to say that I really love the quality of this. Maybe it feels more comfy because it's a little bit on the looser side. But I love the color. I think it's like a true cream color. I know I got this top in an extra small, which is why it feels so comfy on me. Like it's not extra tight, which is also nice. Um, I, I would say that I prefer this kind of fit on me for a top than just super tight fitting tops. Okay, so I have the bra here. Let's see if it's going to be see-through. 
What do we think? Oh, okay, it's a little see-through. Just don't wear a neon blue bra. Okay, got this really, really cute pink dress. This dress also, you know, reminds me of like one of those dresses that you can like play tennis in. Ta-da! Built-in shorts. Oh, you even have like pockets. Even though this looks really tiny and like I don't think it has that much stretch going on the chest area so this dress turns out that it's a unitard or like a bodysuit outer layer here is completely movable i can lift it all the way up like this and it's something that you can feel very confident in moving around because you know that nothing's gonna ride up even if you do like this you know, it's not the end of the world. I think somebody really, really needs to tell ANF stop making their pockets so even tiny because it takes me forever to stick a ball in. And when I'm like busy picking up like all kinds of balls around the court, I want to be able to just like shove it in, right? <laughs> with no frictions. This is what it looks like with a ball. Or if you prefer to put your phone in here, you can't even because no one makes phones this tiny anymore. I feel like ANF is still stuck in the 90s about the oh, Nokia phones out there. And one thing I also wanted to point out is that this area here is very much adjustable. And the things holding it in place, you see these like metal details here. These hardware are not plastic at all and they're not gonna break over time because they're actual metal. So feeling these tiny, tiny details being really good quality just gives me the confidence more that I can wear something like this and keep it in my closet for years to come. It is rather short though, so this might not be for you. Let me know if this portion here changes your mind. Okay, this orange dress, don't ever get me started on how long it took me to steam the wrinkles out. The model made it look like you never ever have to like steam it, don't ever have to worry about it wrinkling, but the truth is it is wrinkly when you first receive it. If you think this is wrinkly now, you should have seen what it looked like when it first came. Like this is already like the better version. And I mean, I'll forgive the wrinkles because it looks so cute. Definitely see it as like a cute little sundress for the summer, you know, when you go to the beach or maybe like a wedding dress. No, sorry. <laughs> Oh my god. I'll props to you if you want this to be your wedding dress, but like a wedding guest dress. Okay, I forgive you, Anna, for making me take one whole hour to steam this dress because it's so worth it. It's so cute. The ruffles, the baby dollness, everything about it is just like so 90s and so like 2000s. Also, let me know if you would like a full on summer dresses lookbook like I always do every year. This area here has little to no stretch because the back is just fastened by a zipper. Yeah, this is so deep, you guys. I feel like one wrong move, you know, as you're dancing and you'll just like expose yourself. So invest in fashion tape, lingerie tape, even double-sided tape. Isn't this a perfect match for this? Ah, I love it so much. I feel like I can go and have like a garden tea party. British people don't come for me. I'm trying. I don't know why I just feel so posh in this. Okay, not gonna lie. This is my absolute most excited piece of this haul. This is a romper that I know you guys love. You guys, it's not a romper. How did I think it was a romper? Oh, I have been lied to. Who lied to me? The past me lied to myself. It's a dress. Okay, okay, still cute. We'll see how it looks. <laughs> actually really cute on except the back too small for me because i couldn't zip it up all the way if you're in between sizes highly suggest you to go up because i feel like this dress definitely runs a lot smaller you definitely need some kind of shorts underneath so you don't flash the world it's just so summery for, for like a picnic <gasps> it's a hundred dollars Oh, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I can't lie to myself. I just don't think it's worth the $100. I think the maximum I would pay for something like this would be maybe like 50, 60. I just think the pricing is a little bit on the unreasonable side. Maybe wait for it to go on sale. I also feel very obligated to try on this LBD because LBDs are just forever classic in my opinion. You can never go wrong with a little black dress. It's very, very suitable for, you know, date night. Go to your sugar daddy's funeral with it. No, I think this is too cute for sugar daddy funeral. It does seem a little bit <laughs> um, complicated to put on because there's like all kinds of laces going on in the back here. But there is a zipper and is it double lined? Yes, it is. Honestly, at this price point, I'll be so mad if things are not double lined and they're like sheen quality. Because it's black, you don't have to worry about it potentially being see-through. Wow, this dress feels so sexy. 
and so feminine and so classy at the same time. Definitely one of the more classier LVDs that I own. It's actually one of their best dress guest collection, so I'm assuming that means it's the perfect dress for a wedding. Even though I don't think I've seen much black dresses around a wedding, have you? Let me know in the comments down below if you think black is okay to go to a wedding in. My favorite feature about this dress is definitely the crisscross back detail and the slit here that comes up to here. It's also very sexy. I think that if I were to move around too much or dance around too much that this dress would actually start to ride up a little bit. So let's try it out. Okay, you guys see the bunching around here? I just feel like this area, especially my bum and my hips area, there is a lot of tension around here. I think it will be especially pronounced. But other than that, I think it's pretty sexy. I mean, got like a really like Bond girl kind of vibe to it, which I always really like. Whether it's worth the price tag, uh, I'd say yes, more so than that not a romper from before. This dress also comes in the white color and the petite and a tall version as well. So there's a lot more customization I find in general going on in the ANF site, which is always awesome. Okay, and then I got this blue dress that is kind of like a bodycon fit, I think. And the material reminds me of a towel. Very fluffy, very terry cloth material. I don't think it has any kind of like zippers or buttons, so you would just have to rely on the whole thing fitting through your head or your body. It is $70, which I think it's a little bit pricey for just a piece of dress like this. I think it's definitely like a vacation dress. It can be casual and dressy at the same time. So I really, really like the feeling of this dress on my body. The fabric alone makes me feel like you can wear a bikini under, go to the beach, get wet, put on this dress, and this dress will somehow like dry you off because of the towel material. And the color is a very, very gorgeous baby sky blue color. When you first put on the dress, this area here is actually detached from the back, so you just get like these two ribbons all the way up. And it's up to you how you want to tie it at the back. So I just tied it in a crisscross because I just feel like it's kind of cute. Everything down to the fit, feeling, fabric makes this dress very, very unique. And I also mentioned that the waist and the entire fabric is pretty stretchy. I think I'm gonna go back and grab this dress in like all the different colors that I carry. Plus 10 points for ANF just for this dress alone. <laughs> okay, so we've come to the end of this ANF haul. I hope you guys liked it. Did you like it? Did we do a good job? <laughs> As always, I am taking video suggestions down in the comment box down below and make sure to thumbs up this video if you would like to see a summer dresses lookbook or just for babies up okay. or just for ANF in general. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Say bye. Like this. Oh. Yeah. Um, bye bye. <laughs> I'm definitely like up to ah! <laughs> your heels. Oh my god, that was so dizzy.